Here in InDesign, let's select this red circle. Here in the Properties panel, in the Appearance section, here's Opacity. If we bring it down, no big surprises just here. So let's bring this back up to 100%. And I'd like to now point out this little button just here. When I click on it, it allows us to go after the object as a whole, which is how InDesign works by default, or we can target the stroke or the fill. So let's choose stroke and lower the opacity. And check this out. We've managed to lower the opacity of the stroke while the fill remains unchanged. Let's now switch to the fill and lower its opacity. And sure enough, we've managed to fade the fill of the object without changing the stroke opacity. So this is fantastic and working over here is great, but it can feel a little claustrophobic at times. If so, click on the FX icon, click on Transparency, and this will open up the Effects dialog box just here. This is where you would typically come to add a series of effects to your objects. But what I'd like you to see here is we have Settings 4 in the upper left corner just here, and here we can go after the object as a whole, or we can target the stroke or the fill, and the Opacity options you will find just here. So. That's going after the object as a whole, or the stroke, or the fill, here inside of InDesign. I hope that helps. Catch you later.